I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. This is the Billionaire Brown experience. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. I'll try to make this one quick. For those of us that were watching this, uh, R. Kelly, uh, Surviving R. Kelly, I just finished watching it. It's like a lot of people are waiting like, well, you know, his karma is going to come. His karma is going to come. His karma is going to come. Listen, if he is really doing all of this stuff, if, if he's done all of this, this stuff, do you know how he, he feels like hell inside? That's not a good way to live. I mean, if you do, if karma was really a, 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 a being sentenced to prison that has no that that has nothing on the way that that person actually feels whether they go to prison or not whether there's a consequence or not that person inside feels terrible so again if r kelly really did this it, karma is not him going to prison right karma is not him going financially broke Karma is the pain that he's been feeling from the very first time that he has done all of these things. So I just wanted to uh, put this message out just so we can be open to a new way of looking at karma. Karma, I believe now, it happens immediately. Before, you do something wrong to someone and you know that you're doing something wrong, that karma, that feeling that you have inside is priceless. There's no justice that can overpower that feeling that you have inside. All right. This is your boy, Billionaire Brown. Um, let me know how you guys feel about this. Uh, I know the, the, the popular thing is that karma, it comes later. Uh, and I used to feel that same way as well. However, through research, what I found is that karma, it happens immediately. All right, check out my Billionaire Brown Experience podcast. It's on iHeartRadio. It's on Spreaker Radio. Until next time, guys, continue to be.